Atlanta's best mix of R&B, Magic 107.5, 97.5, and MagicATL.com. We want to thank all of you for checking this out. And make sure you send it to a friend, because here today we're, we're going to talk about an event that is a fabulous mm -hmm. event. It has many, many different purposes. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to introduce you to all the people here. My name is Simon Baber from the afternoon show we call The Ride. Right next to me is Ms. Jamise Buford. She is the president of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, Metro Atlanta Chapter. How are you today? I'm great. Fantastic. And next to her is Mr. Vance Kimber. He is a uh, realtor and he's a superstar gourmet gent <laughs> chef. He has done this uh, many years. We're going to find out in just a minute how many years he's done this. And uh, he has provided a little something, something for us to play with today. <laughs> And next to him, my partner in crime, ready to jump into the food, the man, the one, the only, the living legend, from the ride, Chubb Rock. Hungry. <laughs> so and I'm cooking this shit. I you know what? And I'm glad you said that. Gourmet Gents is happening at the Georgia International Convention Center in College Park. On Sunday, November 17th, from 3 until 6 o'clock. Ms. Buford, tell us a little bit about uh, the organization. This is the 25th year for this chapter, right? Yes, yes it is. Thank you, Simon. Yes, we have been in existence here in Metropolitan Atlanta for 25 years, so this is a milestone for us. And uh, we are a mission advocacy organization. Our mission is, is around advocacy for women and children. And that's a very special place here in Atlanta. Me being a native of, of Atlanta, with my responsibility and the whole, we have mobilized women in our chapter to help be able to provide mentorship and, and, and working in our health space and, and helping these teen girls, which is what Gourmet Gents is all about now. Yes, it's about the food, but it really is about raising funds to help our future here in Atlanta and abroad. So, you know, when I think about the organization, I'm reminded all the time that we have a responsibility to help our future. And so by way of Gourmet Gents, where we celebrate, and you know how much fun you have, Absolutely. and get people together and raise these funds, it really is about mm -hmm. the children and helping them provide and be respective uh, citizens to Atlanta and abroad. So we are excited about our teens on the move. Not only is it 25 years and 23 years for the um, event, but they are graduating. They've been in the program with us four years, wow. 9 through 12. So this is, this is a graduation party for them as well, along with the Gourmet Gents food. So you do this every year, and this is the 23rd year, for a person who has never been to oh. Gourmet Gents. <laughs> I'm going to let you give them a little overview as to what to expect. Absolutely. All right. So let's picture this. Uh, hundreds of men in the room, right, mm -hmm. with, with food everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you know, envision the spoonful of tastings, because we would, you know, do you a plate, but we don't want you to get too full. Right. We want mm -hmm. you to get a you know, multiplicity of, of food and, and, and let your taste buds do the, do the talking to you. So just, just picture that. I'm already there, okay? And so then we have some judges, some celebrity judges, some women from our, our uh, Brenda Wood is joining us this year and a few other uh, celebrities in Atlanta. But we test the food, right, because we're, we're the master chefs, aside from those like Mrs. <laughs> Kimbro. So they, we do that. But then there's this atmosphere of fun. Right, you know, being in Atlanta, having Simon and Bebe with us, helping usher the crowd through. And so it's just a myriad of people walking through, if you will, this filled space of delectables where you can taste your appetizers, you can taste your main course, you can finish it up with some dessert, and then you can have some toppings. I mean, it is. And then, you know, partaking in water and, and in some more you know, spirits, if you like, to really top off the evening. But really, it's an opportunity to thank our sponsors and really put our teens on the move in the forefront. So you'll see them. I won't tell you it's a surprise on how they're going to enter in the room in their own way to uh, show the public and the community who support the event what the event is really all about. Okay, so, so the teens are going to be there as well? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Very Excited good. about their graduation that's coming on the rise for 2014. Very good. Yeah. So, Mr. Kimber, uh, yes, sir. how many years have you participated with, with the National Coalition? This is my 10th year. Wow. Yeah, 10 years I've been cooking. I like to say when I'm not chilling, I'm grilling. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some stuff I bought today. And I think it's, uh, it's a great event. I'll tell you what I really like about it. It's like going, you know, when, when I was brought up, my grandmother brought me up, and, you know, on Sundays, grandma would cook. So this is like going to mom and them, grandmas and them for Sunday dinner. 
but the difference is you got 100, 200 black men, and she didn't say good looking. Oh, yeah, I, I, I won't say that part. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. She, missed that, she missed that part about the good-looking black men. So, so we got 200 good-looking men cooking. And I don't know where you're going to go and find 200, 300 good-looking uh, men in cooking. <laughs> not in one place. So, and, and I think it's, it's just uh, for our, our community, I mean, it's just a great event. I like, we're at a new location this year. We used to be downtown. We're down by the airport on Camp Creek. I would like to see, when you get off on Camp Creek, there's a line you got to take the back way to get there. Yeah. So yeah. instead of getting off on Camp, Camp Creek, get off on Langford Parkway, come down the back way. There you go. I like <laughs> but that. I like but that. But that's the way we need to show how we appreciate this event. Because any time you get men to come out, and it's all ages, all groups, all ethnics, everything. And I mean, it's some competition. My little group is called Smooth and Easy, because we're from New York and Chicago, okay. so we know how to roll. So it's Smooth and Easy, and about 20 of us, and then you got other groups with different names, but every single guy there is great. It's great. He's cooking this year. Am I right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to cook as good as this, because it's like I said, it's like mom in there. <laughs> Look, it's Sunday, so you know we're gonna have some smack talking. Okay, normally right. it's about football teams, but now it's about cooking. That's All right, right. That's right. And I can't wait. It's my first time, and uh, I'm excited because um, my father was a great cook, and my mom showed me how to cook, and uh, it's just a beautiful thing. It, it, it's eating with a purpose. That's right. So I like with, that. you know, eating with a purpose, and we're gonna have a, a good time. And yeah, talks. And it, it's funny that I didn't even think about it until you just said it. Um, I'm from New York, but um, my family heritage is West Indian, so that's a hint mm -hmm. to what oh. might happen with my food. But <laughs> okay. Okay. you just said something about bringing something to drink, and, and you know we have certain West Indian drinks, um, non-alcohol. That's a, a specialty thing. So now that I'm thinking about it, I need to make that as well. You can bring that ginger beer. I like that ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta bring a traditional West Indian Do it. beverage. Do it. So, um, and, and then we're just going to have a good time. I think it's going to be incredible. I'm glad that, uh, to be part of it when Cy told me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get down. I'm going to pop a lot of smack when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have 20 guys. I think it's just going to be our little crew with me and Derek and Tall Boys cooking. I can't remember if um, Frost was cooking, but I know that our little crew is going to be there. And we're going to, you know, I'm going to have my special apron on. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going right. down. Oh, yeah. so, so you're still not telling us what you're cooking. No, I'm not gonna say what I'm cooking because I don't want being that it's so competitive. <laughs> yeah. yeah I want to make sure somebody says yeah. he's the only one that brought that. Right. How about that? Right. So so what did you prepare? Uh, and, and is this what you're going to prepare for everybody oh, no, else? No, no, no. Oh, just, no, you just I, brought us a little. Yeah, I just brought y'all something. Just brought that yeah, just, just to make sure that y'all come. <laughs> the appetizers. Yeah, yeah, this is chicken wings. There's some chicken wings with some special spice on there. Uh, my family is originally from Virginia. I'm by way I'm through Chicago, so I got some little Caribbean spice. I love Caribbean spice food, so I got some spice on there. I'll probably do some. Uh, usually I do uh, black eyed peas with some kind of smoked turkey and some greens and cornbread or something in there, something special. Because they usually ask me when they pass by my table. Who in the kitchen? That's what they want. Right, to know. right. Yeah, who right, was that in right, the kitchen? Right, right, right. <laughs> you tell the truth. Yeah. Right. So I, I know whether to get whether to get one plate, two plates, or just a napkin. You just I got need you, I got you just need to pull up a chair by my, by my <laughs> and sit down. That's what that's what happened. Dude, I'm through in the first hour. All so right. yeah, but it's it's a great event, and I think you know on the serious side, I think it's great that we come out and do this kind of thing. You know, you don't see this kind of thing done across the country. I mean, I am so impressed. I travel a lot. I go around the country. You do not see the kind of support that we have here in Atlanta for different events. And I mean all the way down the line. I mean, this, you know, Feed the Hungry, everything, we come out. And I just think it's important that we carry on that kind of tradition because tradition is what it's all about. If you forget where you've come from, you won't know where you're going. So it's important that we, sometimes we do things that are serious, sometimes we do things that are fun, but at the end of the day, it's all about who we are and to make us better. Absolutely. Miss Beautiful, we're going to have a, a, a special celebrity gent uh, in the building, right? Ooh, yeah. A little cooking for us. Who is that special guest? It's going to be G Garvin. G Garvin. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. That's He's going to be up. in the house cooking, so uh, he'll be, of course, coaching me, right? Because I, I need some help in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, be, he'll, he'll be out there coaching and, and cultivating uh, his culinary art right. that he's going to have. So we're excited about having him there. Could you tell us how people can, can get tickets and, and can they? 
wait till the day of. I know we we prefer they don't. Right. But right, uh, right. How, how are tickets available? How can they get more information? Absolutely. Well, more information can come from our dedicated website. We've got gourmetgents.com. Oh, okay. So they can go to the website and you know see see what's going on, where things are happening, when things are happening, and the ticket price is forty dollars. In advance, forty-five at the door. So okay. we're, we're, you know, that's promoting you to get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can pay online. You know, with technology, you know, get that as soon as you can. You can call our office at four four five two two one zero six one. We want to make you know different ways right. that you can get it. Um, and we want you to spread the word. You mentioned that earlier about you know sending this to a friend and and sharing because here in Atlanta, you know, we we've got a responsibility to make sure people know what's going on and what's happening in the community to help again our teams thrive and, and be, um, you know, citizens that give back to oh, the yeah. community like right. we're giving to them. So we, we are, you know, I, I was talking with the members and they are so excited, our, our women who are getting uh -huh. together in the Metropolitan Atlanta chapter from the National Coalition of 100 Black Women. And there is this sense of, you know, you would think that we were going to march, you think we were going, but it's, <laughs> it, you know, because we are so excited about this annual event that does just what you say. You bring people together. You know, you talk about the competitiveness. It is in the room, and it, you feel that when you come in. Because Absolutely. everybody is coming in for a cause. You talked about cooking to do what we need to do to make this event a success. And having you on board for the, the many years and your support makes it special for well, us. Well, I so appreciate you. you saying thank that. You, but I can just, I can honestly, honestly tell you, it is a wonderful, wonderful event. And you see all types of people. I mean, because what do we have in common? We all eat. That's right. No matter what kind of music right. we listen to, no matter what kind of sports we like or what kind of arts we like, we all eat. And there are so many different dishes and so many different things for you to sample and taste and so many people that you can interact with and, and network with. It, trust me, if you've never been to Gourmet Gents, please plan on joining us. On Sunday, right. November 17th, 3 o'clock. Don't be late because, you know, the, the most popular dish, dishes go first. Oh, yeah, yes. you know. Yes. So, I tell them, get to the door and all you find, my food is going to be gone. I'll tell you that right now. My food is going to be gone. If you buy your ticket at the door, my food is gone. You will not eat my food. So buy your ticket before then. I understand it. Buy your ticket before then. And make sure I want to see Camp Creek backed up. That's yeah, what I want to see. Do it. I want to see it. Camp Creek backed up. I want to see Langford Parkway backed up. And I want to see everybody that day at the place. So be there. And you'll get if you get early, you get some of my stuff. How about that? How about <laughs> I think that? It's a, it's a, it'll be great. A family affair. Bring the whole family. Oh yeah. Fathers bring your sons. You know, mothers bring your daughters, and you know, let's get down. See, because his food. <laughs> I'm going to have his food first. Oh, uh, you know, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have his food first. Because the, the aroma coming off of this makes me feel that he knows what he's doing. Oh. So, <laughs> I'm going to have his food first. It ain't going to be my food. <laughs> it, it just, it's just not going to do it. <laughs> so, but, you know, I'm, he's a veteran. He's been in the 10 years. I'm the, I'm the, uh, rookie. I'm the rookie in the, in the game. So, I got to impress, I got to impress him. So I can get invited next year, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a great time. Like I said, eating with a purpose, and it's what we need to do. I know you you watch television and the news, and you see a lot of negativity. And I've only been in Atlanta one year, and I love it. And I love it because of the wholesomeness of the people, and their willingness to keep everything family. And I'm an old school person, mm -hmm. so I like that old school family traditional thing. Mm -hmm. So you can go to church on Sunday, and right after there church, you, you can come by. Bring your congregation. I know you're going to be hungry. I'm telling you, the, the men are going to put it down. We got G. Garvin, okay? We got the veteran, okay? And then you got the rookie. <laughs> and you got Sideman conducting the orchestra and then all the beautiful ladies that made it happen. So you, you got all, and then we got the kids. And, of course, the cause. So there's no reason not to be there. And I already know you're going to show up in fine style. So while you guys talk some more, I'm going to have some of this. I understand, <laughs> my man. Yeah. It's Clash of the Titans. That's it, that's it. That's right. Make sure you visit GourmetGents.com. That's GourmetGents.com. Get your tickets early and make sure your face is in the place. Anybody want to shout out or give any last comments? To my wife, you know what? I'm cooking that day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of the teens, and we, we want you to know it's all about you uh, as we celebrate our 23rd year with this great cause. 
cooking for a cause on uh, behalf of 100 Black Women Metropolitan Atlanta chapter. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Look, take, take some of this sauce. <laughs> you want some water? <laughs> <laughs> it's on, huh? <laughs> it's on and popping. If, if you can, if you don't have chicken in your mouth, when I say gourmet, you say Thank gents. You. Gourmet! Yes. Gents! Gourmetgents.com. Let's see it. Thanks so much for jamming on magicatl.com. Thank you.